hello and welcome back to my channel everyone um how was your first day back after the bank holiday um it was a bit hectic at school today but you know my year 11s uh we're just taking it easy i didn't actually have them directly i think it was towards the end of the day that they came and we just spoke about these questions that we've been talking about and they're really quite happy with it so should you. I know you're happy with them as well. That's why I'm going to do 61 to 70 of the 100. Remember the last 30, I will just pull up questions from the editor because all the way from question 1 to 70 has been on the AQA exam board because some people are asking that. That's why I wanted to clarify that. So quickly, question 61 says, what is the importance of magnesium and nitrates to plants? Now, magnesium is needed to make chlorophyll and nitrate is useful for making amino acids. Now, amino acids are required for making proteins and proteins help plants to grow. Or you, or, um, as you already know, chlorophyll is present in leaves and is important for trapping sunlight for photosynthesis. And the next ties in with question 62. The formula for photosynthesis is carbon dioxide plus water food is made glucose and oxygen gas is given off the factors that affect the rate of photosynthesis are temperature light intensity water and co2 now when the light intensity is high photosynthesis would carry on when you have co2 water temperature is in the right uh, uh, proportion the photo rate of photosynthesis will be sped up question 64 talks about the limiting factors what are limiting factors they are the factors which prevent the other factors, though present, from having an effect on the rate of photosynthesis. So they, um, a limiting factor would be the one that's stopping other factors from having the desired effect on the rate of photosynthesis. And then this question says, it's talking about um, the difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration. I have a whole video section I did on this, but just quickly to reiterate and to re-emphasize, in aerobic respiration, there is plenty of oxygen. In anaerobic respiration, there is very little or no oxygen at all. Little energy is produced in um, anaerobic respiration in muscle cells, and lactic acid is also produced. Now, those, that lactic acid, when it builds up in the muscle, it can cause cramp. Now, anaerobic respiration in yeast cells is slightly different because it involves the production of alcohol in a process called fermentation. The actual alcohol is ethanol, and that's why it is used in breweries for making beers, wines, and spirits, as well as CO2 is produced, and that is why it's used in breweries for making dough to rise. That is anaerobic respiration in yeast cells. That is how it is different from anaerobic respiration in animals, in human cells. Question 66 is asking about what happens when the rate of uh, photosynthesis, uh, when the rate of um, uh, breathing and heart rates go up. One of the things you will notice is that the body, the person will be sweating during aerobic respiration when somebody is doing exercise body changes one of them is sweating and sweating cools you down that is because it actually evaporates uh, the sweat evaporates the heat with it so your body temperature cools down and then the heart rate and the breathing rate will increase so that more oxygen is taken in to your body to break down more glucose, to release more energy to the muscle cells that are working harder during exercise. At the same time, more carbon dioxide is produced and this needs to be removed quicker so there is quicker rate of gas exchange in the lungs. Question 67 is about metabolism. This is a high, for the, those doing the higher paper. Metabolism is the sum of the chemical reactions that take place within each cell of a living organism that provides energy for the vital processes and for making new organic materials is long and worthy but there you go that is metabolism for you and then 68 this is higher the uh, places where we have metabolism, we have forms of metabolism, respiration, digestion, making of hemoglobin and chlorophyll. These are all metabolic uh, processes. 
and make question 69 is uh, what are disease vectors i mentioned it briefly before but just to reiterate as we're doing revision now disease vectors are organisms which transfer or which carry pathogens from one living thing to the other these vectors these organisms they do not cause the disease themselves but they help to move the microorganism or the pathogen which causes the disease from an infected organism to another, just like mosquito transfers plasmodium from one infected person to another. And question 17, there you have it. Equation of aerobic respiration is glucose plus oxygen producing carbon dioxide and water opposite of a, a photosynthesis equation. And then anaerobic respiration in human cells is glucose to energy and lactic acid in yeast cells is glucose with the production of carbon dioxide and ethanol so it is used to to produce carbon dioxide and ethanol and some of, amount of energy is produced in anaerobic respiration there is very little amount of energy uh, produced however it's still very important and necessary because when your when cells are working harder during exercise they need to carry on breaking down glucose and releasing that energy that is required. So that wraps up 70 question as a checklist on the AQA paper, one that you have on the on next, uh, exactly a week from today. Keep revising and keep keeping positive because I know you can. See you again soon and God bless.